Good evening. Thank you for tuning in to Poem Praise 2. And certainly, peace and blessings upon you this evening. Now, next, in the African Americans that are so extraordinary, we are about to do James Pearson Beckworth. And for James Pearson Beckworth, he was a frontiersman, scout, and explorer. The time period is 1798 to 1866. And it reads as such. Born in Fredericksburg, Virginia, to a black slave mother and English father, James Pearson Beckworth and his family later moved to Missouri. When he was 19, he was taken to St. Louis to learn a trade. In 1822, after getting into a fight with his master, Beckworth took off for New Orleans. There he signed up as a scout for General William Henry Ashley Rock Mountain Fur Company. Now before long, Beckworth had become a famous mountain man, respected for his expert skill with a knife and a gun. In 1824, he was adopted by the Crow Nation and married a crow woman named Pine Leaf. His remarkable courage earned him the name Bloody Arm. Now Beckworth remained with the Crow Indians for six years, then returned to St. Louis when he joined the army. After serving as a scout during the Second Seminole War, 1835, to 1842. He traveled to California where he prospected for gold. While working as a chief scout for General John Fremont, Beckworth discovered an important pass through the Sierra Nevada mountains. The passage now known as Beckworth Pass became an important route for wagon trains traveling west into California. Now, in 1866, the U.S. government asked Beckworth to use his influence to establish peaceful relations with the Crow. Happy to see him again, the Crow asked him to return to the tribe as chief. Beckworth declined. The Indians prepared a farewell feast to honor him. However, when he sat down to enjoy the festivities, it turned out to be the last meal he ever ate. Legend has it that the crow, crow, sorry about that, I said the crow that the crow poisoned him. Believing that if they could not have him alive, they could at least keep his body and powerful spirit with them. If the legend is true, the crow meant to bestow a great honor on Beckworth. One he probably would have preferred to do without. Now, uh, that's certainly James Pearson Beckworth from 1798 to 1866. I would like to thank you for tuning in. I certainly want you to have a, a restful and peaceful night. Um, well into the morning 
and may blessings and peace be upon you and your family. And I'll be hollering at you a little later, if it be in thy will. All right now. Later, y'all.